when we're looking at the way in which mole uh, atoms and nucleons bind together in nuclei, we can find something rather strange happens. When you look at the mass of a helium nucleus, and you look at it using a mass spectrograph, for example, which is where you fire nucle helium nuclei into a, spect into a spectrograph, right? And you use spectroscopy to determine the mass of that particular nuclei, nuclei. What we find is that the mass of the nuclei, the mass of the helium nucleus, does not equal the sum of the mass of the protons and the sum of the mass of the neutrons. Okay? There is a disparity between the mass of the nucleons in the nucleus and the mass of the nucleus itself. Okay? And that disparity is known as the mass defect. Okay? So using a mass spectrograph, we can measure the masses of atoms and their components. Using the mass spectrograph, it is found that this, this is important. The difference is called the mass defect. So, let's have a go at this. What's the sum of the mass of the parts that make up a helium nucleus or a helium atom? So, who's got their data sheet? What's the mass of the proton? Times mass of the neutron? Mass of the, pro mass of the electron? One point, nine point, one oh nine. Okay, so the mass of the helium nucleus is then two times all of those things, and what do we get? Just somebody plug it in for us. Don't worry about doing it in AMUs. Just give it to me in kilograms. Two times this plus two times this plus two times that. 